What if I told you there was a secret question that could unlock desire, intimacy, and trust from any person in the world that you wanted it from? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? No, not that question. Come on, guys. You've seen this video. You know better. I'm talking about these kinds of questions. Have you ever wanted to be famous before? Do you have any idea how you're gonna die? What is one thing that I had to know about you? It's like, listen, you gotta know Lamar. You know you don't do X. If you had a death in the family, like who would affect you the most? All right, so here is the scoop. The New York Times was the first person to report on this, but psychologists have been trying this method for years and years. You get two people together, two complete strangers, and have them answer 36 intimacy building questions. Now they begin kind of tame, like, do you want to be famous? And end up really extreme, like whose death in your family would devastate you the most? Now, it takes about 45 minutes to get through these 36 questions, but once you do, they found that almost always there was a strong sense of familiarity intimacy and even a feeling of love amongst these two otherwise complete strangers and almost always they wanted to see each other again name three things that you think that we have in common so how does this information relate back to you getting anybody that you want to love you well the art of conversation is known as an art for a reason people genuinely don't know what questions to ask or how many questions plus it don't help the fact that we've been told over and over again that it's rude to pry I'm gonna repeat this because I said it in the last video and genuinely it is the most crucial dating advice I can offer anybody people genuinely genuinely want to talk about themselves. They want to share, they want to open up, and yeah, they want to listen to and they want to empathize and find out about you, but most people have no idea how to broach intimacy building questions, which is why this experiment is insanely genius. Now there's three different ways to kind of tackle this thing. This way would definitely work for me. Come with printouts. Print out the questions on a sheet of paper and say, yo, I read about this online, you ask me these, I'll ask you these, and let's go. And then just see where it takes you from there. If you wanna be more sly than that though, try to memorize like five to 10 questions and just slide them in casually in conversation. On the flip side though, if you just happen to see someone that you wanna strike up a little conversation with, but you don't know how, try to memorize your favorite question and go in with that. Now the pickup artistry community or the PUA community is a multi-million dollar industry where men teach other men to pick up women using psychological tricks and jazzy one-liners. You kind of remind me of a candy bar, half sweet, half nuts. Are you a chicken? Cause your style is impeccable. The only STD I have right now sexually turbulent desire for you. And yeah, while awkward and creepy can work for some, I kind of feel like vulnerable and honest works for most others. I do want to note though, that while this experiment does say it will create a sense of love between two strangers, it does not specify what kinds of love, agape, storge, phileo, or eros. If you guys have no idea what those four things mean, go in the info box below and I'll explain. And as an extra fun little bit, I'm actually in New York right now, so I took my camera out and I asked some of the BeautyCon festival goers some of these questions. I'm Sandra Deluxe and the thing I value most in a friendship is probably the silent moments, knowing that we could both be comfortable silently together and knowing that I can freely be myself and they can freely be themselves and uh, that's special to me. One year ago, actually two years ago, I decided I would start my channel because I was school was so monotonous for me and I was like, this isn't a great way to be living. Now that I'm doing what I love, I still am trying to reach for like this milestone of, I don't know, I guess like a, a vision that you have for your life. So for me, I would like to just spend every day eating really healthy food, doing yoga, being with my golden retriever, with my fiance, and yeah, just like kind of relax more, not work so hard, damn. <laughs> So if I could gain one quality or ability, it would definitely be the ability to remain cool as a cucumber in any situation. I always respect people who can just remain completely level-headed and not freak out when stress is testing them. Yes, because I'm a very shy and anxious person, so if I don't rehearse, I'm gonna stumble all over my words. So even just now, I rehearsed. <laughs> I feel most grateful probably for my mother. That's so cliche, but honestly, I feel like I would probably crumble and fall and die <laughs> without her. Um, she kind of is like the glue that sticks everything together. 
I put myself out there so much and she kind of reels me back in when she's supposed to. If I could change anything about the way I raise, it would be my environment because I was raised in like in a rural part of my country, which is Jamaica. And I would rather be raised in like the countryside where there's calmer and more collective people there. So with friendship, I think, you know, it has everything involved. Um, we trust each other, we love each other, and no matter what distance or anything, um, we we'll always have each other's back. I would like to be famous as a singer. So my worst, my worst memory was one time I was in a pep rally and they made me uh, get the get the baseball bat and put my head on it and spin around and lots of people do those like at barbecues and whatever but I had to do it in front of a crowd of like a hundred people and I busted my ass I fell and the whole crowd gasped at the same time simultaneously actually yes so someone has read my palm a long time ago and they said that I was gonna live a really long life so I'm suspecting maybe I'll just die peacefully in my sleep that's like the best thing ever right I wanted to know if asking these questions could again create a strong sense of familiarity and intimacy. Would this person walk away and say, that is my ideal match, like we are star-crossed lovers and I feel like I've known her my entire life. And of course, would he want a second date with me? Now if you guys want to watch how that date went down and how I was able to segue 36 crazy questions in a 45 minute conversation, you have to go over to full screen to watch it. My show Sham Booty is Your Perfect Date is now in season two, baby. So you can binge watch the entire first season and of course the second, no, the second season has three episodes up right now. If you are an AT&T customer, you get one year for free. Everybody else gets one week for free. Go to full.sc slash shambooty to watch it. And you guys, you have to watch it. Shannon had a lot of a lot of questions. Thank you to everybody who took part in that questionnaire. I fell deeply in love with all of you guys. And thank you to everybody who has supported my full screen show again. Go to full.sc slash shambooty to go watch Shambooty is your perfect date. And next week we're talking about the Oedipus Complex, which is a theory that every man has a repressed desire to date his mother. We're gonna explore that next, but first up I have one bonus question for you guys. Okay, would you trade a year of hellish nightmares for a year of wealth? My name is Sham Booty and I have over 10 years of experience as a sex and relationship educator. Last season I gave you some universal bonding tips. This season, we're gonna try 10 different experiments on 10 different first dates. The question is, which one's gonna work for you? You can become someone's ideal match by mimicking their parent. No, looks are not enough alone to make you feel a true connection with someone. I'm Shannon. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So I'm stroking the bottle, and as I'm doing so naturally, the lemon bursts and squeezes. It's so juicy. What's your most treasured memory? The day I got divorced. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. One more time? I could tell. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. <laughs> this is dating etiquette 101. Pay attention. It's the beauty inside is everything. My hypothesis, 80% of my subjects will say yes to a second date, and eight out of 10 of my experiments will be a success. I think the experiment's working. Watch closely, and one of these theories will work for you. Let's show you how to be the perfect date. I get it, girl. Oh yeah, I get it, girl. Uh, yeah, 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 I get it, girl. Oh, and if you don't know, get it, girl.